All right, I think we're live here again. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle, AA0Z. And welcome to the live stream. We are going to do some FT8, FT4 for the 13 colonies. And just hang out. Have a conversation. Talk about ham radio. Doesn't matter what we talk about. I don't care. So, anyway. I'm um, currently working FT8. Out uh, about 40 watts. And uh, trying to contact uh, GB13COL. You can see above me here that uh, I've got uh, Kilo 2 Alpha. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Oh, hang on. It's a different, uh, different button. So I got uh, Kilo 2 Alpha, uh, Kilo 2 Echo, Kilo 2 Lima, Kilo 2 Mike, all on FT8. Kilo 2 Echo, I got an FT4, four, so. And then if I come over here to CW, the only one I'm missing of the 13 colonies is Kilo 2 Charlie. Hopefully I can nab that station here soon. Um, still waiting for GB13 COL on CW. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get uh, to get that one. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah, just doing some FT8. I'm not really sure what, uh, what the brackets mean. I don't know if you can tell, but, um, um, yeah, Jason, I know. 430. Um, I'm not really sure what the brackets mean around the GB13 CUL. I don't know if that is considered a DX station or, um, hey Rob, uh, Jason's got all but KC2 and yeah, I've seen WM3PEN on FT8. <coughs> Actually, he's coming up now, so he's my next victim. <laughs> uh, Rob, have you been participating in the 13 colonies? I've got uh, all of them except for one on CW, and here I'm working FT8. Um, oh, you got them on... Um, Jason's got them on single sideband. Wow. Those pileups on single sideband have been, um, I'm on 20 meters, have been deep, deep and wide. So I'm on 20 meters now. And um, maybe I'll move to 40 later. But um, hey, Andy, what's going on? <clears throat> Hey, Don. What's happening? Long time no see, right? I better pay attention to what I'm doing here. I had an issue. All right, so here's the here's the question of the day. Why on FT8 is the GB13 COL in brackets? I don't know why it's in brackets. There's no other stations in brackets. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. Um, I'm live. Come hang out. Um, not sure on the bracket thing. Yeah. I guess maybe I could uh, look it up on the old uh, the Google machine, right? FT8 brackets. Call sign in brackets. Here we go. 
angle brackets imply that the enclosed call sign is not transmitted in full, rather as a hash code. What? Hang on. L listen to this crap. So I'm on, like, Groups I.O. Uh, the compound or non-standard call signs are automatically recognized and handled as special message formats, such as a call sign with a standard, and one standard call sign may appear in most messages. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Words, 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 words. So I guess the program knows that that's not a valid call sign, but... It hashes it in uh, when it decodes it and sends it out. Um, so, I guess we learned something new today. Yeah, longer call signs don't get translated correctly. Okay, yep. Gotcha. It's a limitation of uh, FT8, I guess, or uh, the program. I wonder if it's a limitation of FT8 or if it's a limitation of the program. Who knows? So anyway, um, yeah, just hanging out, watching paint dry, running some FT8. You know how that is. But I did get, um, oh, who, uh, who was I missing? I was missing K2B on CW, and I got that station this morning. And I got K2F. Oh, I was missing K2B, Kilo 2 Bravo, Kilo 2 Charlie, and Kilo 2 Frank, or Foxtrot. And, um... I grabbed Kilo 2 Bravo this morning, or actually this afternoon. So I played tennis this morning, and I came home and fired up the radio and decided, all right, I've got, um, um, so I've never put spots. You really can't see it. I mean, I could probably put it up on the screen, but I have my maestro here. And one of the cool things in version 3.0 is uh, it allows you to put spots on the streaming software. And then it also allows you to put spots on the maestro. And you have to have a third-party application to get those to show up. Like, you just can't put a Telnet server in the Maestro or in the Flex software and assume that they are the spots, the DX spots are going to show up. And I don't have a lot of knowledge on DX spotting and using spotting networks. So I did some research, and here's a little tidbit of people who have Flex radios out here, is... So I, I used a program called FR Stack, and FR Stack is just a kind of a utility program that does a lot of stuff. And inside FR Stack, once you set up, you go to File and Options. So you come up here. So here's the spots. But you come up here to File, I'm sorry, View, Options. And you come over here to spots, and I've got my call sign here, um, initialize command. So I want to see um, DX. I want to see the last 30. I'm not really sure what SH means. Anyway, I want to ignore all the, the JS, um, JS, WJ, bleh, WSJT spots. I don't want to ignore the digital or CW. Active slice. So then I came down here and I put in uh, ng9r.com because he is in Illinois. Illinois. 
and he's close to me. So you want to put a spot in where you don't want to you don't want to get a spotting network if um you know if you're if you live in California you, you don't want a spotting network that that is in Connecticut, right? You want to have some something's close because um, maybe they're they're doing filtering on spots that they only hear. So anyway, so once you put all that stuff in, um, has this guy answered me up? Nope. So that's whenever you put that in, and then you come down here to uh, radios, and you do the radio list, and you you check your radio, and then after that is done, you come into your maestro or your your um, smart SDR and you set up the spots and it automatically conf it automatically kind of configures for you. So anyway. And I think you have to, hang on. Yeah, so you just enable the spots. You put where you want them in the screen if you want them up high, if you want them down low. The position the font size, the colors, and then that's it. And they show up. T.O. So it's really cool. I mean, the, the, the stuff that Flex is doing, and it's, it's unlimited, right? So it's all in software. And some of these other manufacturers need to need a kick in the pants right i mean they could be doing so much more with adding additional functionality with their radios through software and getting away from that processing power on the radio and doing it on your computer because not a lot of the or, uh, the software doesn't require a lot of computing power so why try and put the processing power in the in the radio when we've got these laptops and desktop computers that can um, um, can do all that stuff? So, Don, you got to. I wish I didn't need to sell my sixty four hundred. What do you mean you wish you didn't have to? I feel there's a story there. No one should get rid of a flex. No one. All right, I'm going to try for GB13 Sewell again. See where um, I still see him in the band activity. So, yeah, the, the possibilities with software are, are endless. They are endless. <clears throat> so yeah, we're just hanging out. Gonna do this stream for about an hour or an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Callum, DX Commander, has his stream start at 4.30. And then he runs until... Um, well, I don't know if he's gonna run until Josh... Um, hey, there's a cockroach. Hey, there's a cockroach in my basement. Um, anyway, he usually runs until Josh starts his stream. Um, oh, Don. Oh, sorry to hear that. Father died in May and left B with his home equity credit line to make money. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well... You know what? The nice thing is the flexors will always be there. So once you get back uh, situated, uh, you can just repurchase your your 6400 there. Actually, you could do one better and you can get a 6700. Or whatever the latest and greatest of the 6700 is. Maybe it'll be a 6800. Who knows? Um, where's that cockroach? Man, they're coming out of the woodwork. Um, 
There's cockroaches. I, there was one crawling on my ceiling in my um, in my house the other day. I wonder how many cro- cockroaches have crawled up on my bed while I've been sleeping. You know? I have had a mouse uh, crawl on top of my tent while camping, and that's about... Uh, that's about as closest to, to nature. I had a um, a rich cracker stolen from me from a chipmunk one time. And we don't have chipmunks in Missouri here. We have squirrels. Tree rats. They're not squirrels. They're tree rats. But you go out to, the, like, the national park system. Man, those chipmunks are aggressive. They got fangs. They try and bite you. They climb on your head. They poop in your ear. D-E-2-T-R-F. Oh, that's a bunch of German. I don't know anything about Germany. Other than... um, Donkashane? Is that uh, German? Donkashane. Dahlen. Donkashane. The only re- reason why I know Donkashane is from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That used to be my, uh, it's probably one of my favorite movies. So good. <laughs> I got a car. He got a computer. Um, oh, it's Dutch. <laughs> well, I saw Germany. That's why it's 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 not like DE two. That's German, right? Oh, maybe he's saying uh, J. I don't know. I think that's German. DE two isn't all DE German. A chung baby, that's uh, isn't that a uh, a YouTube, a YouTube, a U two album, at chung baby, that is German. Oh, Donka Shane is Dutch. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, I just recite it from the movie. Yeah, okay, gotcha. You know, I'm kind of... I've called this uh, GB13COL like 4,000 times. Maybe I should... uh, Maybe I should go for something a little bit more obtainable. Something more in my league. Here, let's... Uh, what happened to the, the, the WPEN? Or the PEN station? There's two uh, K2M. Okay, hang on. Let me go to the FT4. Let me click on that guy. I don't need K2M. You really need someone reading the chat to you when you're live streaming. I can volunteer Frank for you. <laughs> it, Frank is really good at that. I mean, he is he he has perfected that reading the chat to to as as things come up, right? Where's uh uh The PEN station. I know it's out here. I think just too many people are are calling uh, CQ. Or I'm sorry, trying to call this uh, COL station back. Frank's the man. Man, man is the Frank. Frank the tank. Frank the tank. Oh, here's Kilo 2 Delta. Do I need it? Kilo 2? I do. All right, here we go. Shooting fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Kilo 2 Delta. 
standard generate or stand, or generate standard messages enable TX Kilo 2 Delta we're, we're coming after you if you're watching this live stream Kilo 2 Delta you better answer me I doubt he's, he's he or she is listening Rob you're seeing a fruition of FT8 I learned how to do FT8 last night and you're probably thinking to yourself you have never done FT8? Nope. I mean, I have done, I had probably, um, um, you're not seeing FT, uh, Kilo 2 Delta? I have probably, um, completed 10 QSOs. On FT8 before last night. And last night I only did. Three. A lot of questions. Oh you've only done it once or twice. Your, uh, yourself too. Well welcome to the party. There's plenty of room in here. Kilo 2 Delta. I just saw it. Hang on. Hang on everyone hang on. Everyone breathe. Everyone breathe. Let's just watch let's just watch the the scrolling go by. Now why is sometimes GB thirteen COL in brackets and sometimes it's not? CQ CQ um All right. Should we go to 40 meters? Maybe we should try FT4. All right. Yeah. I think I am on crack. No, no. no. Jason, the drug of choice in Missouri is meth. It's not crack. It's meth. Everyone's probably seeing my my uh, K2D call out and saying, what is he thinking? All right, so let's go, let's go down to FT4 just for poops and giggles. Oh, FT4 is 14.08080. It's not down on... Man, I'm all out of the times. Meth Methuri. Yeah, Mike's intro is catchy. CQ. Mark says, I have no idea what FT8 or FT4 is. Tell me in beer Google talk. Mark, are you a ham? I think that's the first question. Are you, do you have a valid amateur radio license? T.O. says K2D is doing CW on, I don't need him on CW. I got Kilo 2 Delta on the third. I'm good. I just need Kilo 2 Charlie. On CW. Oh, I see Kilo 2 Alpha, possibly, on FT8, or on FT4. I already got him. You know what, this Kia, this uh, FT4 isn't, uh, you know, I'm not impressed. I mean, it's half as quick as um, it's half as quick as FT8, but there's not as many stations on FT4 
I mean, maybe that's by design. Uh, Jason just worked Nicaragua. Who was the, the dictator of Nicar Nicaragua? And we almost went to war. Was that, um, or was that Nicaragua? Where was Ali North and the, the, um, I mean, he was with the Iran con or, um, but wasn't that with Nicaragua? I can't remember. Oh, so Mark says, so exam Wednesday morning have been away for 30 years. Lots have changed. So FT8, Mark, is the new craze in digital modes. I don't know what the craze was whenever you were a ham 30 years ago. Maybe ready. So now there's this new mode. Um... Yeah, Manuel Noriega. There you go. Yeah, 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 that guy. Uh, so FT8 basically decodes stations within 15 seconds, and the whole QSO takes less than a minute, or it takes a minute. And it's basically standard messages that you download this piece of software called WSJTX. And um, you basically, it's click and forget. So you set your computer up, and it's all on the computer. So the, com the computer's got better years than you do. Yes and no. So the computer listens to the signal. It decodes the signal just like FT or, um, PSK31, 30, just like RIDI. But it's got deeper years because of the algorithm that Joe Taylor, K1JT, has put together. And someone calls CQ. It's 15 seconds long. It sounds like this. I don't know if... So it's like a, like a wobbly single signal. And then your computer decodes it, and then it goes into this automatic, automatic standard messages where it just cycles through, and within a minute, you've created your... Um, your QSO, and you exchange your grid, your signal reports, and then basically a 73, and you're done. So do a YouTube search on FT8, <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> there's a ton of videos on FT8 on YouTube. And FT4 is basically FT8 on crack. Or in Missouri here, it's called FT8 on meth. It's on speed, right? It's a, it's a, it's an upper, not a downer. A downer, FT8 downers is J J JTS J JT65. That's what uh, FT8 is on downers. JT65. On cocaine, it's um, FT4. All right, so no, 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 no actual DX on all computer-driven. No, no, no. It's you can contact anybody. So no actual DX all computer-driven. Yeah, it's all computer-driven, but you can contact anybody. So you'll see a ton of DX stations in there. But it it's um, it allows you to to uh, be able to hear stations you might not be able to hear below your noise floor. All right, I'm not seeing a lot of stations. Maybe we should go to uh, forty meters here. But I'm going to go to FT840 meters. There we go. All right. Don says, I'm trying to get WSJT 2.2.2 working on. Oh, they got a new. I'm only using. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm using 2.2.2 too. I thought I was using 2.1. 
There's Kilo 2 Kilo. All right, I need that guy. And Kilo 2 Frank. I got that. All right. Does every everybody concur that Kilo 2 Kilo is a valid station on 40 meters so I don't act like a fool? Yeah, info, get on. Yeah, get... So, Mark, I, this is what I would suggest that you do, is just get on YouTube. Actually, um, Mark, send me... Actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me... Let me put a link in the chat. I have a list of YouTube channels. Hang on, let me get to it first. That um, copy link, link copied. All right, so let me point, put this in the chat here. So go to that link there, and it's just a list of ham radio YouTube channels that I subscribe to. And every time I find a new YouTube channel, I put it in that list. So if you go to that that list, just start clicking on the top, the 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 top, you know, fifteen or twenty. You know, it's got Ham Radio 2.0, 741 channel, temporary offline, Ham Radio 2.0, K6ARK, um, K8MRD, Smoke and Ape, N0SSC. So just subscribe to all of them. Don, I got 2.1.2 working okay on Windows Pro. XP. Holy moly. Googly googly. Yeah, there's no app on for Apple. Well, you can... Yeah, no... Oh, pity that there's no app APK. Oh, for not on Apple. You, you're looking for an APK. Yeah. XP is your main PC. Oh. You did an upgrade, Don? For SWL, who is something good. Are you talking about the YouTube channel? The shortwave listening YouTube channel? I just subscribed to him. He posts a lot. He does a lot of live streaming. If that's who you're talking about. Oh, I got to I got to enable TX here again. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, gotcha. D-E-2-T-R-F. Oh, yeah, put put a link. Okay, I didn't understand. Yeah, put a link to your channel. And I'll, uh, I'll put it in my spreadsheet, and I'll subscribe. Well, actually, let's, uh, hang on. Uh, uh, let me go to YouTube. So do I just put in um, DE2TRF? DE, oops, oopsie. DE2TRF. There you go. There you are. All right. I'm going to subscribe to you. Here is... You got a lot of Minecraft. Ah, you got a you got a bunch of bunch of little stuff here and there. Where's the Zoom link at? No Zoom link today. Okay, Kyle, that's great information. Thanks for picking me on and spending the time. Yeah, not a problem, Mark. FT8 is, is uh, like watching paint dry, but 
Um, you'll find that there is, after being out of the hobby for 30 years, um, there is a lot of stuff that has not changed, but there's a lot of stuff that has changed. Like, you will find that, that um, I don't know if you're looking for a, an HF radio, but I always recommend the, the first radio, first HF radio is if you want to uh, cry once and buy once is um, the 7300 by ICOM. You can't go wrong with that, that radio. But if you really want to um, really cry once and buy once, you just uh, spend another thousand bucks and get yourself a 6400 by Flex. Don says Microsoft. Um, Microsoft says to do a clean install. They don't care about already. Yeah. So what I did whenever I upgraded my station or my computer to Win 10, I upgraded, let it reboot, let it contact Microsoft to say, yeah, I just upgraded, I'm good with uh, Windows 10, and then I did a clean install. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, Hamvention is in Xenia now at the fairgrounds. I wonder if, I wonder if the Hamvention guys, obviously it was canceled this year, but I wonder if they lost a deposit and I wonder how big of a deposit they have to put down. I would love to know how much money that Dara makes every year on Hamvention. I mean, it's it's got to be tens of thousands of dollars, right? <clears throat> I mean, it's... I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they made 40 grand a year. I wonder if there's a place where we can... I wonder if they publicize that on how much money they make. Oh, Don's got, uh, Don, you just need to get a new computer. Why don't you get one of those nooks? Oh, I got a good signal into Chicago. I got something in my mouth. Ow. It's not my tongue either. Good signal into Chicago. Well, I'm good. I'm glad I'm getting out. So, Ham Radio, dude, do you just, you just see me calling, um, KD, K2D over and over and over. Is that what you just see? Let me try K2, K2K. Let me go up to 2100. All right, we're going to try for K2K here. No, but Don, you get uh you get a a brand new computer like a Nook and just start to migrate all your stuff over and then just keep that PC for for X, for your your programs that you need on XP. Ham radio. Yeah, I see you in the band activity. All right. So now you probably see me calling K2K because I need K2K. He's in New Hampshire. Mark says, great info on the HF sets, but I have three vintage Yesu 757GX and FT8. Oh, okay. Yep. Got it. So do you hook, how do you hook, Mark, how do you hook those up? To work digital, do you you just get like a signal link or a an external sound card and just pipe it into the mic jack, or how do you do that? I'm not familiar with the the 757. K2K 
K2, I see K2K, I see K2 Alpha, I, key, I see K2 Golf, <coughs> I, I see K2 F, F. Man, they're all coming out here. Oh, I'm pumping out 100 watts too. Let me back that down. I'm sure this flex is screaming. This is riveting. Absolutely riveting. This is slow TV. Slow TV, just like your mama, mama warned you about. Slow TV. You know, sometimes uh, you guys probably don't. Uh, I mean, some of you on this on this stream now. I can sympathize, but um, whenever you go live in YouTube, you got to uh, do your streaming software, and then you do something on on the YouTube end, and then they tell you if you're um, um, it tells you the stream health, and I always get this uh, error that my bit rate for my voice is not in sync with, um, and then it goes away in sync with the stream. I don't know. It, it just, it's very generic. So, but today I didn't get it, but I got it on last night. Um, so anyway, Don, Kyle, you need to see their call sign listed second. If you see it first, they are being called. Yeah, but I can still, So is it bad juju for me to just sit here and, and call them over and over? Is that not how it works? Like, is that the, the, the monitoring part that I'm not getting, that I should be doing, that I'm being a lid on FT8? Mark says this is a very old rig, 35 years, never tried it uh, with the DX5000. This is why I'm asking about... The, oh, so, Mark, you need to... Yeah, you'll need to figure out how to get audio out of those rigs and into your computer and then back into your rig. Typically, a lot of them, those older rigs come in through the mic port and you have to get an external sound card. Some You can do it with an internal sound card. You just have to watch your levels. And sometimes you have ground loops so that uh, doesn't, uh, it's not... Not great for for the uh, the signal coming in. So a lot of them, like uh, a ti ti Tigertronics or a Rig Blaster. Not a Rig Blaster. Is that called a Rig Blaster? By Wet West Mountain Radio. So then you pipe that into your radio. Your computer talks to the to the rig blaster or the the Tiger Tronics USB sound card and then it pipes it into your your radio. And that's how you get the sound into the radio. All right, so I'm looking for 13 colonies that, all right, so I, I see K2K in the second slot again. That means he's getting done with the conversation, so I'm going to call him. Am I putting anything out? Hang on. Did you see that? 
I don't think that I'm putting anything out. Hang on. See how my frequency jumped up there? Look at look at the screen. Why does it go up to 70 74.5 when I transmit? And I'm not I'm not Okay, I'm transmitting now, but why does the frequency jump up to 70 74 500 when I transmit. Is that normal? See it? It just jumped up. See, I'm transmitting right now. And my frequency says 70, 74, 500. Check on PSK Reporter. I mean, I see that I'm transmitting, but why does it... I have my TX frequency at 2200. Is that bad? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, to see if I'm getting out. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, I'm on... Okay, thanks, Kevin. I'm on PSK Reporter. But why is my f my frequency shifting when I'm transmitting? Ham Radio Dude says, yeah, mine's at 60 while TXing. Is that because my transmit, I'm at 2100 hertz and it shifts up? Why is that? No, it moves up 1K. You have to set it to move. Well, I haven't set anything. I haven't touched it. No touch. I mean, I just chose 40 meters, and it automatically, you know, via cat, went to 70, 74. Look at the whole TX frequency in the center under the enable button. Yes, it's not checked. You didn't set it to not move. Oh. Well, why wouldn't you... Like, why would you want it to move? I don't understand why you want it to move. Why, why would you want it to move? See... T.O. saved the day, ham radio dude. I had no idea wh why that was why that was unchecked. I have no idea. Next. <laughs> Ryan says that's normal. It moves to where they they are. In your waterfall, look at the top where the frequency is displayed. Yeah. So I'm See where my little red, uh, my little red riding hood is? You're talking about up here, right? Sometimes I think that it's deaf. <clears throat> Ape. Okay, so few chats here. Look for the green blah, 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 and the red blah, blah, blah. Yes. I, yeah, got it. It will new, move normally. Smoke an ape says it will move normally if you answer their CQ. <clears throat> if you call, it should stay put. It's one of those TXs. Yeah, I understand that once for the red is for the TX and the, uh, the green is for the receive. I got that, yeah. But I, I agree with Smoke and Ape. If you call it, it should stay put. Like, I just don't understand why it shifts up 500 hertz. <clears throat> Technology does what it wants. Yeah, you can't argue with it. Okay, we're all caught up now. You're on your own again. <laughs> I just want to make one contact while I'm uh, while I'm streaming here. T 
T.O., now you know what I know. I hear you. Now you know everything I know. I use that line at work. Now you know everything I know. <clears throat> All right, Ham Radio dude, try and call me. What's uh, put your call sign in the um, <clears throat> in the uh, the chat here? Ah, <clears throat> oh, my throat's getting dry. Let's Ham Radio dude, let's make a QSO here. Oh, here's the um, uh, W9FFF. Ooh. Frank, Frank, Frank. <clears throat> I'm looking. Transmitting. I'm not seeing you. I'm not even seeing you in my waterfall. Yeah. If he calls you, it will be red. Yep. Okay, understood. Is 2100 too high? I think it may be. You can tell on the waterfall to ensure. Yeah, see, that's a, that's a good point, Kevin. I don't know if, like, you know, the the thing to do is to keep it under a certain um, a certain hertz. Yeah, I've got my time in sync with uh, the comp the computer. <coughs> yes, I do. I do. I run this. Um, this uh, network time and it syncs I'm always surprised on whenever it decodes and then it decodes like three or four extra stations um, it's like the stragglers you know it's like the um, it's like the short kids bus Ape knows what that is. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Ham radio dude, I hear you. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I should get you on the next round. Hang on. Let's see if it's going to transmit. Oh, I have to enable TX. Sorry. I'm goofing around. RF filter bandwidth, Scott says. Now, see, look, it just went up to, to, um, it just shifted my frequency. Rob knows there's a short bus too, yeah. Hi, Dennis. Ham radio dude, let me know if you're receiving that. Here we go. I think it's taken off now. Right, it's shifted to where I'm at. Ah, so you're you're above me. You're at like uh 2270. Well, at least I know it's getting out. I mean, I see I, I see it transmitting. So, I can also tell that the AC is on at the remote station because it puts a... Uh, every 16 hertz, it puts... Um, um, puts some... Um, Dilios. Some doolios. Ham radio dude said, I uh, guess he lied. Said 17 or. I thought you were at uh, above me. 
that you were at uh, 2270. That's what it says on my screen. It says that I uh, decoded you at like a negative five. Yeah, good contact. Later, Rob. Happy fourth. Go eat some. Go eat some cow. Well, maybe they're pork steaks. Maybe it's pig. Ham radio dude says I show seventeen ninety seven. Yeah, on my screen it shows twenty two seventy. I don't know. I give up. This is why I don't do FTA because I just don't understand it. Like, I understand English. Like, my voice goes into the microphone. It gets into the radio. It goes over RF. You pick it up. You hear my voice. Because you know English, your brain processes it. And then you call me back on the same frequency, typically, in English. It works. Oh, Kilo 2 Mike, or I'm sorry, Kilo 2 Kilo is call and CQ. And there, there it shifted up again. All right, I'm going to, I don't understand. <laughs> so working split blows your mind. It does. It's fascinating. See, it, it shifted up again. I mean, if, if everyone minded their P's and Q's, you wouldn't have to work split. That's like um, on field day, I heard a bunch of stations say, one at a time, one at a time, people, on field day. One at a time on field day. Another person was like, now everyone calling at once is just not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. Kevin says, try this. File settings, radio tab, split operation. That's okay. Hang on. Let me uh, close the X. So you uh, file, radio tab. So file, settings, radio tab. Where do you see split? Split operation. Oh, I have it on fake it, but see, whenever I test my cat, it's fine. Should I put it on none? Kevin, is it set to rig? Well, so I have to I have to mimic a TS2000 on my flex here. Oh, K6ARK portable radio. Adam with the win there. If you set it to fake, it just shifts the audio frequency ref. You're right. Duh. So I should put for none, right? Oh, geez. I'm a goofball. So now it should not do that. Yeah, I don't know why it was on fake it. I have no idea. Well, we learned something new today. Ham radio dude. Uh, so let's let's try. Um, come on, let's try uh, K2K. Let me. Uh, Scott says. Kilo to India went split last night, and it was a disaster. Kilo to Frank was um, 
was working split on CW, and um, it was kind of a disaster also. I think it's easier to run split on CW than it is on sideband because um, I was going to go somewhere with that, and I'm like, well, it's the same thing with uh, with single sideband. But you have a lot more room, like... For for single sideband, you're you're potentially taking up six kilohertz of of bandwidth. On CW, you can space them out, say up one. But there's a lot of people. Whenever you say up three or up four or up one, they don't know what you're talking about. Unless you are like a DXer, and someone tells you what's going on. Or you have a pan adapter and you can see all the stations like, why is there nobody calling on this frequency that I'm calling on? Oh, why is all the fr people calling on that other frequency? Just a friendly reminder that Cal... Um, DX Commander, if you uh, type in uh, M0MCX Cal or DX Commander into YouTube, he is going to start his stream about 4.30 today. So we will, <clears throat> we got about 28 more minutes or, um, or about, and I'll end this so everyone can go watch Cal stream. And then Josh streams at 7 p.m. Central. So that is, so don't tell me. Let me do some math here. If I'm in Central time zone, that means it's 8 o'clock Eastern. It's 6 o'clock Mountain, and it's 5 o'clock Pacific. I don't know what is Hawaii time. What is Hawaii time? Most DXers will mention listening five up. Yep. Hawaii time is two past or two later than California. <clears throat> Like, how many time zones are there in America? Is Hawaii the farthest out, or do we have the tip of Alaska that's in another time zone? I've got it. Oh, so it's two, two hours. California, or Hawaii is two hours behind California. All right, this might be a bust. It's like watching paint dry. <clears throat> Am I even decoding? Holy moly. There's GB13COL again. <clears throat> Let's see if I'm decoding here. Did it not decode? <clears throat> That's not decoding anymore. What is going on here? So if I go to... All right, so I got slice A. If I go to settings... General, I don't know, audio. It's audio one. <clears throat> Why is this <clears throat> not decoding? All right, let me let me get out of this, get it back, get back into it. 
Holy moly. Oh, Hawaii is three hours from... So I made that one adjustment, and now it's not decoding. Let me go back to... Uh, oh, there's, there's a decode. It should be decoding a lot more than that. All right, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I can see stuff in the waterfall. I don't know why it's not decoding, though. I don't understand. Talking to my buddies the other day because I couldn't get my FT8 to work on lower sideband. They kind of remember that it's USB. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it on. Yep. Pertaining to the 7300, I called CQ too much yet. To, yet. Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, it was working fine. So you can see that I, I'm seeing stuff in the waterfall. And now it's not decoding. So let me uh, let me check my time. Update now. Close. <clears throat> Let's see if it starts that. Let's see if it was the time issue. Nope. No to code. I'm on FT8. Yeah, so I just syn synced my time. So the settings, audio, so it's on TX, RX1, TX, radios on fake it, test out good on the cat. <clears throat> Let me make sure that I got DAX 1. Yep, DAX 1. I don't know. Go to deep under uh, under the code. All right. We got it on deep now. I don't know if that's going to have any... Yeah, I did the same thing yesterday. We started the computer and it started working. Well, I'm not going to restart this computer. I mean, uh, yeah, that probably is is probably the issue. I had an issue before I came on the the YouTube here that it um it wasn't picking up my Maestro and I had to reboot the Maestro. So I don't know. It's one of these things. I mean, I guess I could reboot the computer, but then I'd have to log in.
So, I don't know. What should I do? Should I reboot the computer? Or just end the stream? It's one of those things. I'm torn. I'm torn. Because I'll have to turn off... Yeah. I don't know. Let me reboot the computer real fast. Hang on. Yeah, I try I tried to um I tried restarting the software, Mark. I'm rebooting the computer now. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Um You know, everyone can learn a little something on um on ham radio. Look at the DB, they're all very strong. Yeah, I know. They're they're coming I mean, there's no reason why I should not be decoding. And John, M7CPT, what program did you use to just sync the SIME? I will tell you here in a minute as soon as my computer re reboots here. John, I use... Hang on, it's booting up. Got a load here. I think it's like Sync 32 or something. The program that I use is called Network Time. It's called Network Time. All right, getting back, uh, <laughs> Kevin, sorry for doing, no, <clears throat> all right, so let me, uh, start my <clears throat> streaming software up again, where is it, okay, this FT8 drive me crazy, hang on. OBS, and then once I get the OBS started, I should be able to start. Yep, there it is. So now, <coughs> going to start WSJT. Or at least I thought it was going to start. Hang on. Yeah, not a problem, John. <clears throat> oh, hang on. I got to start my cat, my Dax. Hang on. Duh. Ah, uh, duh. So I got to log into my Flex. I got to start the Dax. So these are just conduits that uh, bring the audio and the, the cat control onto my computer. <clears throat> so then I'm going to hit retry. So now let's see if it goes here. If it goes and I'm decoding... I don't think it's going to decode. Ha! Huh. I have no idea. So you're seeing a, a total utter failure on my part. I have no idea why it's not decoding. 
I mean, you see it in the waterfall. You see that I'm decoding stations in my waterfall. I have no idea why it's not. Let me go up to... Let me just try something. Let's go... I'm in mode, FT8. Let's just go to FT4. So FT4 goes down to 70, 47, 500. I mean, there's no activity here. So let's go up to... Let's go up to 20 meters. Actually, let's, let's go back to FT8. And let's go to 20 meters. No to code. Unbelievable. I have no idea. It's not like my time. My time is fine. Three milliseconds. Time is synchronized. So I'm, I know my time is good. Yeah, ham radio dude. Yeah, the only thing that I, I checked, I didn't check. I checked or I unchecked was hold TX frequency. That's all I did. And now it's not. Oh, let me reboot the maestro here. I've never had this happen to me before. So now you can see these control panels just shut down. So now I'm rebooting the um Jason I uh I rebooted my whole computer, man. Yeah, I rebooted my whole computer, Bob, and uh it's still not decoding. So I'm I'm rebooting the Maestro right now. I have no idea. It was working fine and just decided not to not to work anymore. It's, uh, Jason, you're, is WJTS connected to your maestro or, no, it's connected to the maestro. So you can see it's, it's got those red lines up there. Up here. Because the maestro is rebooting. Yeah, it was working fine. Absolutely working fine. You can roll back through the chat. And it just just stopped working for some odd reason. So I rebooted my Maestro. Always connected to your S. Yeah. I was trying not to run the OBS. <sighs> The OBS software. And. W. Uh, the FT8 software. And. Um, the SDR. All on my computer here. So let's get a full decode in. Because you can see I've got DAX here. No, no to code. I have no idea. Get another computer. I have no idea. Yeah. Ham hey, radio dude, your your contact to me killed me. Maybe this is the FT eight god saying that I should stop. <clears throat> Maybe they uh they got the poison pill and they just told me to stop. 
I have no idea why it's not. I'm in DigiU. <clears throat> Menu. Audio. Let me bring the monitor up a little bit. Do I have my... Yep. <clears throat> I have no idea. Well, check the audio and settings. Check the audio. <clears throat> okay. Settings. Audio. So it's set to RX1. And if I come down here, RX1. So you can see that it's it's got... Oh, you can't see it very well. Can you see it? Uh, there we go. You can see <clears throat> it's got <clears throat> it's got audio. It's right there, right above me. It's got audio, and you can see the audio in the waterfall. See all this audio in the waterfall? It's hearing it. I mean, the only thing that I can think of why it's not decoding is because of the time. But I have already synced my time. Update now. 23 milliseconds. Now, it, <clears throat> now it's negative five milliseconds. Let's let it go through. So my mode is DigiU. So it's upper sideband digital. On the flex. That's the, that's what you should be in is DigiU. The time will stop it from decoding, yeah. Yeah, the, but the time is... The time is good. And I put it back and fake it. It's back and fake it. And did you use correct? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well... This was disappointing. Let me put the uh, let me put the uh, the the link in for Callum's stream in the uh, the chat here. Let me go to YouTube. Uh, the DX Commander here. Videos. Uh, let's see. Share. Copy. <clears throat> so there's a link to, to Callum stream. He uh, actually he's uh, he's in the YouTube channel right there. So, go over and watch Callum stream. Yeah, Don, I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna reinstall two two two, two two two. Oh, that was two two seven. Jackie. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll have to reinstall it and see what's going on. I just like everything is correct, but you're seeing that I'm not decoding. I mean, look, it's it's decoding. It's decoding. It's just I don't I don't I don't know. 
Unbelievable. Did we change a radio setting when we checked split? No. We, there were, according to Ham Radio Dude, the only, and I agree, the only things that I changed were hold TX frequency and fake it. Those are the only two things that I did differently. And I, um, <clears throat> and I rebooted the computer. I checked it. I synced the time. I rebooted my, I mean, I didn't reboot the flex. I rebooted the maestro, but, um, yeah, maybe it just wants to be fake it. But you would think after I hit fake it here that it would start to code. I don't know. I'm going to reinstall the program. So, I don't know. It's a computer. You can't argue with it. Well, everyone. Wrong mouse. Thanks for... Thanks for hanging out. If you want to hit that like button. Helps promote the channel. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is why I don't FT8. Yeah, uh, it's maybe this is why I don't FT8 anymore either. But I'd like to get the clean sweep on FT8 on the, the 13 colonies. I don't know. I'll reinstall and see what what's going on. So um, anyway, yeah. Thanks, Adam. I'm going to sit down uh, here tonight and watch your uh, watch the rest of your presentation. So, um, thanks, Don, for ha hanging out. Appreciate it. Thanks for every everyone for in the stream and saying hello in the chat. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah, go over to Callum's stream and uh, tell him Large Marge sent you. That's from Pee Wee, Her Pee -wee Herman. <clears throat> um, so, anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, we'll catch you on the flip side. Later.